What's up, peoples? I'm filming on a different uh, tablet camera, but I'm here. Oh, yes, and I have a new phone. It's called, it's a Galaxy. So, yes, I have a new phone. So, let me get the show started by saying this. Raw was, was whatever. It wasn't a terrible show. I just, I do agree. We should just get rid of the Slammies. Or make it an online thing. Just... Do it online. Just have it. Just the best year results. Just do it. Get rid of the Slammies as an episode. It just it just didn't feel like really nothing happened. Really, there's no storylines. Really, they really didn't do much with the Roman Reigns thing. Like they didn't fire him. But all right, the show kicks off with Stephanie. She talks about oh it's the Slammies, and she's actually all smiles surprisingly, even though Reigns won the title last week. She calls Reigns a coward for attacking her dad and punching out. Um, um, so yeah, basically that's really what she is, she's just talking shit, and then Roman Reigns comes out, and basically, surprisingly, like, so the fans just like him now, I hate, I fucking hate flip-flop fans, I really do, it's like, so you guys just like him now, like, you were hating him all year, and now all of a sudden, oh, we like him now, you're gonna probably, I wouldn't be surprised if they turned on him again, but whatever. And he comes out to a beast and pop, and then he basically talks about winning the title, basically saying, pretty much he's bringing up that Triple H, that he laid out Triple H at TLC. So most likely they're gonna have a match at some point. Someone was saying, why not do it at the Royal Rumble? Yeah, but no, I do it at Mania. Just do it. I think you can stretch it till Mania. Just find, just do Reigns. They'll probably do. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna do Reigns and Sheamus at the Rumble. That's what it's most likely. I thought, oh, they're gonna probably do like a title match tonight or something. It's most likely gonna be at Royal Rumble, Reigns and Sheamus, and then they'll probably at Fast Slam. Assuming gonna be the next pay per view after Rumble. I don't know who's he gonna face now after that. Is it gonna be like? Are they gonna do Kevin Owens? You could do that. Do it at, and then at WrestleMania, just be like, Triple H, you know what, I'll do it myself, you know. So, yeah. That's what it's looking like. They're going to do, or at least they're, it's in the works, what it's looking like. And then, um, then she just basically tells Reigns to get out, and he's kind of taunting her. She's just basically bitching, like she's going, yeah, she's just kind of PMSing in a way, like she's yelling, get, like she's saying, get. That's like the best interpretation I could do, I know. And then he turns her back on her, and then she says, come back. What the fuck? Are you just telling him to leave? What the fuck? And then he leaves, he goes into the crowd, and she announces that the Usos will face the New Day three-on-one, and then that uh, Ambrose will face Sheamus in a steel cage. Okay. I don't know. I don't like cage matches anymore. I've always liked cell matches more. Then Ziggler is presenting the first award for Breakout Star of the Year. So the nominees are Kevin Owens, um, Neville, Tyler Breeze. Why? What is he? What has Tyler Breeze even done? He's only been on a couple... He hasn't even... The last couple of weeks, he hasn't even been on the show. Or maybe he hasn't, just because I haven't watched. But the last time... I, since his debut, he really hasn't done anything. Braun Strowman kind of makes sense, but he's a Wyatt just... Obviously, he's not winning. But Neville wins it, which I'm, I have to agree, that's bullshit. What is, as much as I like Neville, he's cool or whatever, what has he done to warrant Breakout Star of the Year? I have to agree, that's Kevin Owens, he deserves it. I mean, he beat Cena his first night. Yeah, he was kind of, yeah, he lost to the, the feud of Cena, but then he comes back and then he wins the IC belt. That's why I agree he should deserve it. He actually deserves it because he did beat Cena his first night. I mean, that that alone is breakout star of the year. Even though, yeah, he lost the two other, was it two other matches? But I'd still give it to him. So, yeah, and then um, Neville comes out, and I guess he's happy for the award. And then ne um, Owens comes out, and he basically talks shit about Neville winning, and then Neville just walks away. And then... Nev Owens talks about, oh, I deserve the award. Then he looks at Ziggler and calls Ziggler a has-been, and they brawl. Okay. <laughs> and then 
It's Kane and Bray Wyatt. Randomly, Kane's facing Bray Wyatt. Kane hasn't been on Raw the last couple of weeks since Survivor Series. And then faces... So it wasn't really a match. Then the fucking Wyatts uh, beat down Kane and the Dudleys and Tommy Dreamer. So I guess they're continuing this. So it, the Wyatt family versus Kane, Tommy, and the Dudley boys. The Wyatts win when Harper pins uh, Devon. Then the next is... Uh, LOL. What? I'm skipping this segment. It sucks. R Truth won. Whatever. I'm skipping it. Then, um. Then Mick Foley dressed up as Santa and doing the, the whatever. Then Paul Heyman presents the award for shock, shocking moment of the year. Which, the nominees is Lesnar attacking, uh. Basically, when Lesnar freaked out that one Raw, it was a Raw after Mania when he beats down everybody. And then Seth Rollins cashing in, which really, I don't really think that was shocking because I called it. I think everyone, everyone was already predicting that Rollins may cash in at Mania. I think people were already predicting that. So that really wasn't shocking. And then um, Callisto doing that move on the ladder at TLC and then the Wyatt's tagging taker. Which I think why it's attacking Taker actually kind of made sense. Be that should have won. Because that was shocking. That came out of nowhere. Because the Callisto thing, yeah, that was a cool spot. But that really wasn't shocking. Well, I mean, it was shocking in the tents. They don't really do moves like that anymore. But but Callisto won. Um, and then he just kind of cuts a little promo. And then it does the Lucha chant. Then you have Ziggler and Owens. It was an okay match. Um, Owens won with a pop-up power bomb. I still love that move. I don't know what's the next end game. The rumor is he's facing Lesnar. He's not ready. If you want to do Lesnar, maybe do it in 2017. But you got to build up Owens. I just don't think he's ready to face Brock Lesnar. Sorry, no, he's not. I you I can't believably. The thing is, it'd be different if he had beaten Cena during his feud. Then yeah, I'd be more open to it. But he hasn't. Yeah, because he hasn't beaten Cena. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how I look at it. But Kevin Owens won, and then that's about it. And then Stephanie presents the Superstar of the Year award. <clears throat> and then the nominees are basically, um, do they even say the nominees? Really, who cares? Rollins won. He comes out, and he's actually injured. <clears throat> and it seems like Rollins actually got a decent pop, so most likely he's coming back as a babyface. This is what it's looking like. He kind of cut, like, he didn't really cut a heel promo. It was more like, I'm going to come back stronger. It seems like he kind of was cutting a babyface-ish promo. Like, he's saying, I'm going to come back, rebuild. You know, it really he didn't, he even said he's almost going to say thank you. So it seems like it's kind of like they're teasing a, a face turn, but he's going to be out for, like, another, like, oh, he's going to be out for a while. Another, like, seven months, so he's gonna be out for a while. So he won't be back till sometime next year, so probably, like, sometime in the summer. Um, then we have Swagger and Del... Oh, apparently Cena's gonna be back next week. Woo. Swagger and Del Rio. Swagger lost. Del Rio wins, of course. And then the League of Nations... The Jobber of Nations. That's what they are to me. Um, basically, after the match, Del Rio wins. Which, what... Why isn't Del Rio doing the armbar anymore? I'm noticing he's just doing that stupid stomp shit. Rollins was doing that, like, on the top rope, and the guy's, like, in the tree of woe, and then he stomps on him. I mean, that's not a finisher. I mean, Rollins did that, and that was, like, like a, just a movie he did. The guy still kicked out. It's not a finisher to me. Why isn't Del Rio just doing the armbar anymore? Is it because it just risk of breaking his arm? Well, he did it in the back... Well, I'll get to that, but... Um, but then Seamus bro kicks, um, Swagger. Or was it? No, I don't know. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought that was a different segment. So Mark Henry comes out and he does the hero, basically the, you know, the, what we, charity award, that's what I'm going to call it. And then Mark Henry went, uh, basically Cena won, but Cena wasn't there. There was a lot of, oh, the guys who won the award weren't there, so we'll accept it. Just stop doing that. Then don't give it to him, then. It's just kind of annoying. Oh, we're, I'm going to accept this award on his behalf. Just don't do it, then. Just not.
yeah, so John Cena won no surprise there, and then JBL was like, oh, Cena goes unnoticed. Okay, fuck off, JBL. Every chance you get, and I'm not even a Cena hater, but come on. You always bring up, oh, Cena's doing something for the children. It's like, come on. And then Bo Dallas is Santa Claus, and he basically reveals the nominees for Return of the Year. Dudley's Jericho, Del Rio, Sting, and Kane. And then Sting wins the award. Why not just give it to the Dudleys? They were there. But yeah, the Dudley was, Dudleys were on Raw, which in my opinion, I think they should have won. Because Sting doesn't really count. Because one, it is the return when he was in the fucking statue thing with Seth Rollins. You should have just given it to the Dudleys. You're, you knew fucking Sting wasn't going to be there. Why not just do it? Why not just give it to fucking Dud Dudleys? Which, in my opinion, I think they deserve it. Because that was an actual surprise return. This wasn't really... The Sting one wasn't really a surprise because he already showed up at WrestleMania. I felt like the Dudleys is because they legit... That was a legit surprise return. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't feel like Sting was a surprise. His Survivor Series return last year was different. That was a surprise return. This really wasn't. Then we have Usos in the New Day. It was an okay match. The Usos actually pick up the win. So, and most likely they're going to probably do Usos in New Day at Royal Rumble for the tag titles at some point. And they'll probably win it there too. I wouldn't be surprised. And then apparently there's going to be the Diva of the Year, Our truth like, they're doing the Steve Harvey thing, because he did it last night, where he said the wrong person, the wrong winner, so they did it here. R-Truth says, oh, the Diva of the Year, the nominees are Nikki, Naomi, Sh Nikki, what did Naomi do? Really, yeah, what did Naomi do? Yeah, she had that heel turn, but that was about it, she didn't do anything else. Yeah, Naomi didn't do anything else. Um, so, yeah. Charlotte, I mean, I guess, I, I thought she was going to win, honestly. It was either going to be her or Nikki. And then Sasha, and the winner was, they said Paige was the winner, but they did what they did, what Steve Harvey did with the the Miss U.S. Miss Universe thing. He said the wrong winner. Archer did, and it was actually Nikki who won. And then she tells Nikki comes out and then does some promo about, oh, women, basically. That's kind of what the promo she cut. And her and Paige are hugging and shit. Are, is Paige face? What the fuck? Why can't WWE be consistent? I'm so sick of this inconsistent booking with the Divas. It's been the last couple of weeks. Is Nikki a heel? Is she still a heel? Well, especially she's a, one of the big examples. Because one week she'll be a baby face, and then one week she'll be a heel. And then Paige is another one. Is she a heel? Because she really wasn't acting like a heel, really. She was buddy-buddy with Nikki, which made no sense. They were feuding all year. What the fuck? Oh, uh, whatever. Rusev faces Neville, whatever match. Rusev won, and then the League of Nations come in, and then basically Sheamus bro kicks Neville. Okay. And then... Miz presents the awesome moment of the years. Okay, the nominees were Lesnar when he destroyed the Cadillac on Raw that one time. Randy Orton RKO on Rollins at WrestleMania is actually pretty cool. Um, the Revolution thing, which it didn't end. The Shield power bomb when the Shield kind of renewed, well, not really renewed, when they triple power bomb Orton at Payback, and then the Rock's appearance with Ronda Rousey, which actually actually won. But of course, Miz. I'm gonna accept on his behalf. Just don't, don't, then give it to fucking Lesnar. At least Paul Heyman's there. You know, or you could have done the shield. You could have given it to Roman Reigns or fucking Dean. Whatever. Brie versus Becky. Why are we still doing this? And then Charlotte, is she a heel or a face? I don't get this. So, Brie, Becky wins, whatever, who gives a shit. I don't get it. The inconsistent booking of the Divas is kind of annoying me. Then we have Ric Flair presenting the match of the year, the nominees, Cena, 
Lesnar and Rollins, which I think that's actually, I wouldn't mind that winning. That was an awesome match. Then um, Sting versus Triple H. Actually, I'm cool with that too. Which next week, uh, oh, I'll say it at the end of the video. Then um, Cena and Owens at Chamber. That was actually a really good match. And then Rain, Ziggler, Del Re That Fatal 4 way. why did you pick that one? I, I thought Rhett Lesnar and Reigns was going to be in it. I thought that was going to be one of the nominees. <clears throat> Which that should have been. I don't know why you put that random Fatal 4 way in there. And then Lesnar and Taker, Hell in a Cell, which obviously that one. I mean, that was obvious. Which, some of the other choices weren't bad. Well, except the Fatal 4. It was a fucking random one. But Lesnar, Cena, and Rollins was actually... Well, it's probably be with my top five match of the year. Matches of the year. And then we have the main event, Steel Cage match. It was a match. The League of Nations attack Ambrose. Like, the um, Sheamus bro kicks... Ambrose, and then basically the, sh the, um, the, oh, excuse me, saying the shield, the League of Nations attack him, and then basically the match is whatever, then Reigns comes out and basically cleans house, they're jobbers, dude, can we stop trying to make, oh, they're this big threat, they always get beat up, like, every time, look, like, last week, Reigns just beat their ass so easily, like, he spears, uh, Del Rio, Superman punches, uh, Neville, not Neville, Rusev, and then basically um, Ambrose, Dirty Deeds, Sheamus on the on the tape on the chair that Reigns gave to uh, Ambrose, and then they're kind of, they're trying to do that fight on the topping, which is random. Like Sheamus, you know, you've got Dirty Deed on a chair, you'd be out. What the fuck? Speaking of which, I miss the old Dirty Deeds, the one where it was like on his head. I don't know why they just stopped doing it. Now it's just a double DDT, double arm DDT, which I've seen many times. I mean, Dean. Um, I remember, if you remember Drew McIntyre, that was his finisher. Mick Foley did that. That was, like, his other finisher besides the, um, the Manable Claw. It's, like, his other headlock, um, driver that, the, the old Dirty Deeds that Ambrose did. That one was badass. I don't know, maybe it's just because, oh, someone can get, it's stupid. Like, whatever. But Ambrose ends up winning, and then Stephanie randomly, um, Tom Phillips tries to interview Stephanie... And then she basically flips the fuck out and then beats the fuck out of, uh, slaps the fuck out of, uh, um, to Tom Phillips and then basically proceeds to beat. Yeah, and then that's basically the end of the show right there. So, um, Raw was whatever tonight. It was, this is another slammy show whatever so yeah guys i'm gonna sign off here oh before that i'm gonna announce what's gonna happen this week um i'm gonna see star wars tomorrow so wednesday or thursday i'm gonna review star wars and then maybe maybe the end of the week i'm gonna start maybe doing every wednesday or something starting next week i order this week pending on if i can i don't know we'll see but I'm going to start doing a movie review of the week. Just random, a random movie I'll review. But other than that, um, next week I'll do my top five movies and then match, match like top best of, you know, whatever. And worst and worst of 2015 and whatever. But other than that, guys, I'm going to sign off here. Peace.